Oh, just a reminder, look, this is gonna be explicit differentiation. Why? Because y is all alone. Remember, the derivative of y is dy dx, and we're saying multiply three times whatever squared. If this is some function f, then we're gonna multiply by f prime out here. So what is f? one minus four x, and its derivative, the derivative of whatever's in parentheses, that's the heart of the chain rule there, is negative four. So we'll say this here is negative 12 times one minus four x squared. There's our derivative. Remember those days when we had y all alone all the time? Isn't explicit differentiation so easy in comparison? Compare that to this dragon. Oh boy, we can't get y all alone very easily. So Let's use implicit differentiation. Multiply and subtract five times whatever to the fourth. And the chain rule says, if this is some f, then this is f prime. Well, what do we have here? We've got three x plus seven y, and its derivative will be three plus seven dy dx is equal to negative one. That's the derivative over here. So this is something times something times something. Let's get at least get this thing here, three plus seven dy dx all alone by dividing by everything that's not seven, uh, sorry, that's not three plus seven dy dx. I could keep those parentheses there and I have negative one divided by, well, if this is this times this times this, I'm gonna divide by whatever's here. So I divide both sides by that and I have five, three X plus seven Y to the fourth. That's what I did. I divided both sides by five times three X plus seven Y to the fourth. Now, I will i don't really need these parentheses anymore. I'm trying to get DY DX all alone. I'll subtract three from both sides to give me seven DY DX is equal to I'm gonna just make a little space here. Negative one over five times three X plus seven Y to the fourth minus three. Now here, this comes very in handy. If I say, instead of dividing both sides by seven. Now, I know over the years, some students can do this, but, well, that's pretty easy, right? But this is where the problem is. So instead of dividing everything by seven, which is a reasonable move there. If I have seven dy dx, I'm gonna multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal one over seven, and I'm gonna distribute that. And so I get dy dx is equal to, now if I multiply one over seven times this fraction, I get negative one over seven times five is 35, three x plus seven y, to the fourth minus, when I distribute here, I get, again, that three over seven. I'm just concerned if you try to divide this fraction by seven, it involves a complex fraction of the form A over B over C over D. And when you do that, what you're gonna do is keep the numerator, change division to multiplication, and then flip the denominator. So essentially, you are multiplying by one over seven when you divide by seven. But I find that if students do this, they get their answer correct more often than not. So I encourage you to do that.